Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace, and as you can see, I am playing as a demo man, rocking, of course, the new primary, which is the loose cannon came with the mecha update. Just like the map we are playing on, Big Rock, which is at the time of this recording the biggest man versus machine map, which is kind of neat, but unfortunately, it causes some confusion for people with a severe lack of common sense. But that's besides the point. In this video, I will talk about the uh, performance of the loose cannon, how well it does and such, and my opinion about it. But before I do that, I would like to start off this video with saying Merry Christmas at the time of this recording. It's still Christmas for me. I hope when you are watching this video, it is also still Christmas so you can accept my Merry Christmas. Otherwise, if it's past Christmas, then I hope you had a good Christmas, of course. And we will slowly work our way to New Year's and then to the New Year itself. But the loose cannon, before we digress too much into the joy that these holidays should actually deliver. The loose cannon initially was going to be a weapon that was going to be a lifesaver or a game saver in this case. Just like the air blast that the pyro potentially can be. Because sometimes if the bomb gets really close on a bot and he's about to drop it, you can air blast him away or in this case knock them back with the loose cannon. And this is somewhat true. You can shoot back or knock back small robots. You can do that. But the big robots, your biggest threat, because those bigger robots, they tend to have a lot of health and they tend to like be very tanky and they are mainly the ones that get to the end if something gets to the end. You can't knock them back. You can see during this gameplay that every time I hit them, they don't, they are not affected by the knockback. Which kind of put this, uh, will put this weapon for me in a very bad light because your main source of damage, depending on how you play a demo, if you really want to be meta, then it's going to be your sticky launcher. Your sticky launcher is going to do a lot of burst in the initial sticky trap and future sticky traps that you are placing. Which is why the demo man is so good for man versus machine. And then you could have used the loose cannon as a lifesaver or a game saver, but that's not possible. Or it's not as great as the, uh, the air blast of the pyro, of course. So does that still make it a bad weapon to fight with? No, not necessarily. There are still some good things you can do with it. Because of all these knockbacks and the smaller bots, uh, you could potentially disrupt the the Huntsman waves, which is kind of neat because you just knock in one of your uh, projectile in there and all the Huntsmen, they start bouncing around and while they are in air, they can't shoot. And the damage is not too bad either, it's just that you have to time it well, which means you can fire less projectiles, which means that your other primary, which is the stock grenade launcher or even just the lock and load, which you can allow to shoot faster is going to perform with higher DPS which means if you're going to use this weapon for damage purposes you're not going to be satisfied and if you really think about it there's also no real point in spamming your loose cannon as well yes you will do a lot of knockbacks but that will bite you in the ass potentially because you will spread out the entire group of small bots which means you can't do as much AOE damage or your team can't do as much AOE damage because of that which is a bit silly and due to the timing of your fuse you won't need to upgrade your fire speed as well because even if you do that you're wasting money because you're constantly trying to time your fuse right so there's no point in shooting faster because you can't shoot faster so it becomes kind of an annoying weapon due to the fact that the weapon itself can't knock back the most important enemy which are those big robots with bombs so let me know what you think. I hope they fix it and allow me to push back big robots. Otherwise, if I want to do some damage, it's going to be my sword or sticky launcher. That's it. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care. 